Chess Prime. Welcome back to another video on my channel. And the last time I played my Sims 4, the short legacy challenge, my generation 8 heir and her twin brother both aged up into toddlers. And I said I would do their nursery in between episodes. And then right after that, the nursery kit was announced, then leaked. So I decided to wait a couple weeks for the kit to come out so I could use the kit on at least one, if not both the nurseries, and make a video of me decorating in them using the new kit. And yes, I said nurseries. As babies and infants, the twins have shared a room, but now I think that they are toddlers, they should have their own rooms. So we're not only decorating one, but two nurseries in this video. So currently, this is the room the twins are sharing and it's cute, but it has very much mom style and fits the rest of the house. And now that they are toddlers and they're getting their own rooms, I kind of want the rooms to more so reflect their style and what I kind of picture for them growing up. So these are the toddlers we're creating the rooms for. They are from my short legacy challenge on this channel, but if you haven't seen the last few episodes or you don't watch that series, let me do a quick introduction. So this is our Generation 8 heir, Hunter, and then this is her twin brother, Hayden. And they just aged into toddlers and got makeovers in-game, and now they need beds to sleep in. So for Hunter, as you can see, she has very red and black vibes. She aged up with the taller trait Angelic, but I see her growing up to be a bit more mischievous and possibly even a heartbreaker with almost Bella Goth style fashion. So I feel like an elegant darker vibes that come with the kit are almost perfect for her room. And then there is Hayden. He is very much into yellows, browns, and neutrals. But even though he, he doesn't look like it in this shot, he aged up with the trait silly. And I think that's going to be a big part of him. I kind of see him staying childish at heart. And when he grows up, uh, perhaps even having a bit of a farm life and a love for animals. So, oh, probably won't be using the kit as much on him. Some. But not as much for Hayden as Hunter. Because as you can tell, even though they are twins, they give completely different vibes. So now I'm going to clear out the rooms and then I will meet you guys in build mode. Alright, so I went ahead and filtered by the storybook nursery kit. So you can kind of see the items I'm planning on using. This isn't a review. I already did a review over this kit. But this is just me wanting to build with the kit. So, these are the two rooms we are going to be decorating. The one on the left is going to be Hayden's, and the one on the right is going to be Hunter's. And since Hunter is the heir, and we're mainly using the stuff from this pack on her room, I think we're going to do her room first. So, the main thing I want to base this whole room around is is the new toddler bed. So I think this little nook is perfect for their little toddler beds. And like I said, her colors are red and black. So my question is, do I want to use the one that's red, black, and gray that gives more her vibes? Or since I'm really going for the elegant dark red vibes, do I want to use the bed that has the darker red and black but also has gold? The yellow and gold is more like Hayden's thing like he is a very yellow centered person but I don't hate the idea of gold being part of her color palette for her room too because I feel like she's going to be quite fancy when she gets older and I I really love this rich dark red that's kind of the red I'm going for versus this red that's more faded so I think we're going to go for the black, red, and gold. But we're mainly going to be doing red and with black accents. So I want to base the whole room around that bed. And also while we're right here before I forget, what if we just like put these curtains up here in this little nook around the bed? That is so cute. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay, but before we go further into the... Well, hold on. Hold on. Uh, why do I want to give her a chandelier above her bed? Probably because she deserves it. So we're going to do that. Honestly though, can we shrink it? 
Like, I kind of want to shrink it. Can we just, like, yeah, I kind of like that better. And we can put it, that there instead of the saucer light. And that, oh my god, I don't like how yellow it is when I take the saucer light away. So maybe we'll keep the saucer light. Okay, but before we go further into decorating this room, we need to do the wallpaper and uh, flooring. So I really want to go for a dark red uh, wallpaper. So we have the basic. Let's see how this looks. I do like that, but I feel like almost a patterned wallpaper might be good. Uh, let's see. We have the, the stucco that has more brown than black. We have some Halloween print, but even though it's spooky season, I won't go that far. But maybe I will go as far as the vampire wallpaper, like the patterned one. Ooh, I like that. Let's see, there's also that. So, but does that, I feel like we should try to match the pattern on the bed. Since we're basing this room around the bed, and this pattern, I feel like, matches the pattern on the bed best. Not exact, but it's pretty close. I'm not mad about that. I wasn't planning on using the vampire pack, but it honestly kind of makes sense for the vibe we're going for. And then honestly, we just need some black or gray carpet up in here. Should we use the pastel pop kit? I mean, that's the one we're already using. We just haven't used it in black. Let's see. Can we just do the whole room? Why won't let us do the whole room at once? None of the floors are letting me change it. I normally don't own build in a build once it's a rental lot or a residential rental lot. So I'm not used to that. We could use this carpet or we could use this carpet. I don't know which one I like better though. I don't know which one I like better. I kind of, I kind of like the darkness of the base game carpet better, but I really like the fluffiness of the pastel pop kit one. But I think the colors more so over textures. What I'm going for, so I think we're gonna go with the base game one. Yeah, that looks nice. That looks nice. Okay, so let's go back to the kit. Um, we'll just filter everything again, and honestly. Let's just start decorating. Let's just start decorating. So the biggest thing, the number one thing I want in here is the freaking dollhouse. The freaking dollhouse. Let's put it. I normally shrink them down, but I feel like I'm going to just like leave it full size. And I kind of want it like catty cornered in the, in the corner. So it kind of takes up a lot of the room. So I really want this to be a big aspect of our room. Ooh, yes. Let's get it in the the dark red. I love that. I love that. We love a, a goth house here in this household. Or do I? I kind of halfway want to make it to where the doll house, like the front of the doll house is in the front and like have a little hidey hole uh, play area for the kid. Like, that's going to take up a lot of room, but I don't, I actually don't hate that. Hold on, but what if we, like, put the little toy box in the corner of the room, too? Let's see, this is black and gold. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing. Oh, there's the red and gold. Okay. So, let's, what if we put, like, this little toy test chest decoration moment this is a natural toy box, too. We could have a natural toy box. They only have it in black and gold, though. They don't have it in red and black. Well, they have it in this red and black, but this isn't the deep red I've been using. Hmm. Maybe we don't use the actual toy chest in her room. Maybe instead we use the Bella Agoth dressed cat, since we're giving kind of Bella Goth vibes. So we have this kind of touched in the corner. Ooh, we could put the new toddler blocks too. That would be super cute. Yeah, let, let's do these toddler blocks. So we could like put these right here or something so she could play with them there. And then this, should we face it like this way and have it more organized? 
Or do we want catty corn like I originally had planned? I don't want to like block the play area with the toy chests. I don't know. I don't know. Like my OCD likes it better lined up, but like I kind of like it being the main centerpiece. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna line it up. We're gonna we're gonna leave it lined up for now. Maybe we'll we'll more so pull it out this way so it's not right against the wall. Yeah. Okay. So we can have a little play area like that. I'll figure out what to do with this corner. That's kind of an awkward corner for now. But also, they would totally have this fancy little dresser moment here. It's huge, but I feel like they would have it. So we have it in the red and gold and just the black and red. Why? Why can't you have it in red and gold? Okay, whatever. Whatever. We want more black in here anyways. And then, honestly, where are the clothes? Where are the clothes? I know, I know there's clothes. Oh, here they are. Okay. Maybe we just do the black clothes here. So we have a little hanger there. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then honestly, I feel like, we, well, we put the chandelier. So maybe we'll put the mobile in Hunt, in Hayden's room. Let's see, what's this? A bookcase? I don't know if they would have that or not. But, oh, we could put this rug over in the play area. That's cute. That's cute. Or do we want it under the bed? It would fit under the bed as well. I don't hate that. Ooh, and it has the match. Yes, yes. It's going under the bed. It's going under the bed. It's perfect. It's perfect. We could put another colored version under the toy area. So what if we got the maybe, maybe we, we could use the lighter red and black for this. Or do we want just the black? I don't know which one I like better. I think I like the just solid black over in the toy area better. So we'll, we'll do that. Um, let's see. What else can we put? We don't need a changing table or a play mat. Um, ooh, we could put the, the little diaper bag here. That's a, a cute little detail. And it could come in the gold and red. Perfect. That gets some of that red over there. And, uh, oh, shoot. Okay, I feel like we shouldn't add the canopy over here. I feel like that's a little much. Maybe we'll we'll go for the canopy moment in this bedroom. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I can't I can't decide between the canopy and the mobile. I might do both. I might do both. And what else does this room need? We do have a new rocking chair. We do have a good a new rocking chair that I love. So maybe we can fit that in this corner we could put we could put it like kind of away from the door so the door's what um should I slide the door down one should I slide the door down one I don't like maybe that looks better from the hallway too I actually don't hate that I don't I hate that I don't hate it actually because <laughs> we could do this we could scoot this door a little bit more this way and then then they're, no, they're nowhere near the same place. <laughs> As I'll be like, they're almost in the same place. It, we'd have to put this like here for them to be near the same place. But does that look bad from, the, that looks bad from the hallway. Because I, I need it to be like right there if it's going to be there. And then we could, we could face that one this way. So yeah, we could do it like that. We could do it like that. I think that will still let them open the door door and use the rocking chair maybe we just scoot the rocking chair slightly more this way and that kind of makes the room feel a little bit more cozy too placing it like this so really it's like the room ends here but we could put this bookcase over here maybe since or should we 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 should probably put a mirror somewhere i don't know where to put a mirror though they don't have a mirror in this pack either. So maybe it's time for me to unfilter from this pack. But I feel like... I know, like, the toddlers don't have much need for a mirror. But I like the idea of a mirror being in here. Because it's such a fancy little toddler room. I feel like we have to. We do have this vampire one. 
which I don't hate. That can that actually does come in the right colors. Hmm. Should we? Should, we could. I know I just put the rocking chair there and moved the door so it would work. But what? What if we put the rocker over here now? We could put the rocker over here like. Um, okay, hold on. Let me move the dollhouse back a little bit. I feel like we could move it back a little bit. And then we could have this, like, right here. Right here. Okay. 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 Hear me out. Hear me out. And then we put the mirror over here. So we do. Oh, I already have a mirror bot. Okay. Let's put the mirror over here. All right. Here we go. Like that. Can they still walk through that? I don't know if they can walk through that is the problem. Maybe we have to scoot the chair back there. Okay, we do it like that, and then we can, um, honestly, though, the chair, the chair, I don't love the color on the chair, because I kind of halfway like just the regular rocking chair in here. It's a bit smaller. It's a solid black color. It does have a red wood on it, too, so that kind of ties in with the red, and it gives more room to, like, give the illusion you can walk through here. I don't think you can actually get through there. But my idea being here that we put a bookcase over here perhaps. Um it doesn't have to be the new one cuz I feel I know that the new one fits the stuff in here, but what if we just use a bit more plain of a bookcase? Oh my god. Perfect. Perfect. This gives goth house vibes. Love it. And let's just shrink, or not shrink, but scoot the doll out just slightly ever more. And then we could slightly scoot the rug. Perfect. So we have a little reading spot behind here. Maybe, do we, do we want to put the rocking chair out here? Or do we want to, like, we could, like, I don't know if they'll be able to get into it like that. Like, if we put it like that, I think they can still walk through there. But we could put it like that. Or we could even place it like that. Yeah, that might work better. <laughs> that might work better. And then we could put a little, if we go to the kids room, kids furniture. Let's see. Take off the black filter. Where is it? Where, do they have the, the little stack of pillows in here? All right, here are the pillows I was talking about. And they come in black and white. Yes. Okay, so we could put this kind of like in front of the bookcase. And we could pretend like mom sits here and reads to her. And then she sits on this little pillow. How cute. How cute. Okay. Okay, but honestly, I think other than that, there's not much else. Oh, wait, hold on. There is one other thing. There is one other thing. And that would be a training potty. <laughs> Because they don't really, they have a bathroom they share, but it doesn't have a lot of room. So they do need to put the toddler potty in their bedrooms. Okay, let's see. Um, Do we have a fancy a potty? We have this one for, for rent. It's like a little chamber pot. I haven't used that yet. But is there any other options that really fit this? We do have this, but that doesn't really fit the vibes. The monster, I don't really think ink fits the vibes either let's go ahead and go with the black one do, can we can we put it in this corner or do we need to put it somewhere i think i think they might need to be put somewhere else but this corner is really the only corner it fits in i don't know if it's functional right there though i mean i would assume so i just feel like the adult would kind of be on the other side of the mirror so that part might glitch out but functionality wise i think the toddler can get to it and on that note, I think that's this toddler room. Now, let's go over to the brother's room. So, the first thing I want for the brother's room is a yellow toddler bed. And I don't know how many yellow toddler beds we have. We have the yellow and orange. But I'm trying really hard to mainly do yellow. So, let's see. Let's see. All right. All right. So I went down to these two beds. So I like this bed because it has like a kind of yellow 
a blanket, but it has that brown as well, and his colors are, are like yellow and brown and like neutrals, but this cover is more yellow, but it has a white frame, and honestly, I wasn't really going for yellow and white, but I like this yellow that more than I like this yellow, so maybe we'll go with that and just add brown accents in other places. I think that's what we're going to have to do. So we have that. Let's go ahead um, with the bed picked out. Pick out. Um, actually, hold on. No. There was one thing specifically from the kit I want to use. And that is this. Is it this rug that has some of the. Yeah. We have the animal print. So we have this one. All right. So the, we have this one, which is kind of yellow. And then there's this one. That's definitely more yellow. So I kind of love this rug kind of as the main centerpiece for this room. We could even, I wouldn't be mad about just like putting it right here and just having everything based around it. Because that's the yellow background. I said he was going to be an animal lover. It has the animals and it's based around the circus. So it's kind of silly and his whole personality is silly. So I think this is perfect. But now we need to get a yellow wallpaper. And I want to go with a pastel yellow. I'm liking this. Is there anything I like better? Okay, hold on. I don't hate this. I did say his colors are going to be yellow and brown. It's yellow and brown. But this kind of gives like farm vibes. And... I did say he might ha live, like, the farm life. And I actually really like the way this looks with the rug. Okay, okay. And what if we tie... Can we get this carpet in... Ooh, yeah. Let's get this carpet in yellow, perhaps. That gives very yellow e vibes. And it does go really well with the wallpaper. I'm not mad at this. I'm liking this more and more. I thought this would be the room I didn't like as much, but I'm liking this more and more. Okay, okay, this is good. So let's go ahead and kind of figure out the layout of this room. I kind of uh, don't think he would have this. I think he would have something a little bit more simple. Let's see. Ooh, let's definitely put this uh, bookcase in here because as I don't think... Oh, she does have a bookcase. But let's put the app bookcase in there. Um, we could put this little dresser. Let's see. Is there a cuter one, though? Okay. But I don't hate this. I don't hate this, actually. Okay, hold on. So what if we put... Hmm. We could put the bookcase over here for now. But we could put this kind of in the center. So this gives the yellow and brown vibes. It also gives kids vibes with the whole stickers. And I do love that. And then what if we have like some kind of like, mm, I'm trying to go more pastel yellows. And that is not that pastel. This is kind of pastel. It has the lights on it. That's more like kid room vibes. I want like nursery vibes. Since we are going for farm vibes with brown accents, we could do this mirror. That kind of gives farmy animal vibes. I don't hate that. So we could put that o over in the corner. It's this I'm having trouble placing. That, I, d I feel like that just doesn't go in that corner that well. Do we want to put it right here? Because we could bring back, what we could do is bring back the rocking chair from the nursery, which was yellow. Let's see. Let's go ahead and bring back the, this. It Was it that swatch? I think that's the only yellow swatch. Yeah. This swatch, put this in the corner, little reading corner, put the bookcase here, and maybe we get a, a pillow situation type thing for him to sit on. Let's see. Do we have cute yellows? We have yellow and orange, which isn't exactly what I want it, but I think that's the best we're going to get. So we have this little reading corner. Maybe actually we could put it like here? No, no. I like it better over there. Okay, so we have this little reading corner here and probably needs some kind of toys. Okay, so definitely I feel like we could squeeze in this little dog toy over here in the corner. Honestly, we could even shrink it down. We could shrink it down and put it over here by the door. 
I, I kind of liked it bigger though. Hmm. Yeah. Well, does, does, is that going to interface with the door? I have to have the door there. It's going to look weird in the hallway. So maybe I can scoot it back like this because she doesn't have a big stuffed animal for them to talk to and I'm kind of trying to put like slightly different things in the two rooms because I feel like they're both going to be using the room anyways so let's put a stuffed animal in that corner she has a dollhouse I don't feel like it's necessary to give him a dollhouse so maybe he gets the toy chest we could do like this little brown cat moment toy chest I actually think that's adorable oh my goodness okay hold on we could put that like right there or should we, we could put it in the corner like right there there we go and uh, let's see is there anything else we want to get if that's kind of toddler vibes I mean there's just the straight up toys but I feel like the toy chest is gonna have toys in it Maybe we go through and give them a, a couple of custom toys. So I feel like a little animal toy and a yellow truck. And let's see, maybe pick out one more toy. You know, let's do a, a little yellow rubber ducky. So that could be like his little toy collection. And then she already does have the cat toy boy, but and the building blocks. But these two items aren't actually usable. So I feel like, one, she would have the cat toy. She's probably going to be a cat lover growing up. And uh, maybe, let's see, is there like any red little toys that aren't cars? <laughs> let's see. We have this little thing. That's not really red. That's more orange. There's not a lot of red. We have this little thing. So maybe she can have that. And then let's pick out one more toy. This is kind of, I know it's yellow, but she has like little gold accents going on in her room. So maybe she can have one of the little light up owl things. Maybe they both can have one of those because this is also yellow and it totally fits his vibe. And I love watching the toddlers play with this toy. I just think it's like one of the cutest things ever. So we'll give him a fourth toy which means she needs a fourth toy. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just I, I'm just trying to be too too fair. Too fair, I say. Um maybe we go with the black and gold monkey. Uh nah, nah. Uh we could go no. Nah, no. Nah. <laughs> uh we could go with this thing. I know it's like an infant toy. But I don't hate it. She, she can have that. She can have that. It's fine. I'm pretty sure the toddlers can still play with it. So we have that toy. Okay, so, so I keep going back to uh, her room. But let's try to focus on his room for a minute. Let's see. Specifically toddler and infant things. Is there anything else we actually need? Also, this could have been another option for... Or the bed. Does this have a more yellow swatch? That has like blue accents. I don't like the blue accents. Okay. Okay. Do I like this better? Or do I like that better? No. I like the one we already had. And once again. You know what I'm forgetting. The toddler potty. <laughs> Did everything but the toddler potty. Okay. Okay. So maybe we do move this over here then. So we. I kind of just, I didn't like the fact that, oh, okay, maybe actually, okay, let's, hold on, I will move these back into a cute position. Right now, I'm just moving them. I want the cat face to be visible, so maybe we put it here, and then we can, like, pile the, the toys up in this little corner. Let's see, we can put this here, put this here. All right, so we have that, and then we can fit a toddler potty in here. So, let's go ahead and, let's see, I'm assuming it'd be under here. Let's see, we, the little monster doesn't come in yellow. I was going to say, it would have been fitting for his room, but it does not come in yellow. This one, that's, I mean, that does match his sister's. 
So we could just do that and give them matching porta potties just in different colors. And honestly, though, honestly, though, the one thing I'm thinking about here, the one thing I'm thinking about here for this room, she has a little stuff, stuff, uh, cat stuffy. Let's give him the giraffe. <laughs> I feel like the giraffe just fits perfectly in this room. It's not like usable, but it's cute. So I think we're going to use it. And honestly, I'm trying to debate if they need, oh, well, he, first of all, he needs a mobile, the, that mobile we were talking about giving him. And I think it does, it comes in blue and yellow. I don't want blue and yellow. I just want yellow. <sighs> okay, well, maybe the mobile isn't going to be work as well as I thought. I mean, the rug does have some blue in it, not much, but some. So we could put that there. And honestly, this whole area just kind of needs an upgrade. So, let's see. Does this rug come in any yellow swatches that isn't that one? There's this. But that's not really the vibe I was going for. Yeah, I don't think this rug is going to work here. But I do want to put some curtains up. Preferably yellow curtains so let's see what we have yellow curtain wise okay the amount of times it took me to figure out a curtain was painful but i think with the whole like farmy ranch vibes the tan blinds are just kind of iconic so i feel like we have to go with those and now we can pick out a rug so Maybe I'll stick with the same color filters because this kind of is basically the whole filter or the room. There is this rug, which goes with the whole ranchy vibe. There's this bigger version of it as well. And I want the oranginess in that. Oh my god, I did not realize we had horse rugs. Are you freaking kidding me? Why is that so cute? Why is that so cute? Hold on. We gotta fit this. I don't know where we can fit it, but I want to fit it somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could have it in the reading area, like, I I'm under the seats seating. Is that weird? I feel like that's weird. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to put it under the potty because then it's going to get gross from the potty. And I'm trying not to overlap it on the circle rug very much. So maybe under the rocking chair is the best place for it. But the horsey's asleep. The horsey's asleep. So I, I wouldn't be mad about it like being by the bed. But I don't want it to be the rug that is under the bed. If that makes sense. I mean, oh my God, I don't know if this is going to work in this room. We could put it here. We could have put it here. That's kind of out of the way. It's like under the mirror a little bit. Okay, I don't hate that. I don't hate it. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. And honestly, though, we could tie in a bit more of the brown with one of these. Ooh, yeah, like that square rug right there. Or do I like it in the yellow better? I kind of like it in the dark brown better because I feel like this corner needs more dark brown. So I think on that note, that's all the furniture for this room. I kind of want to put some artwork up in the room. So, like, I feel like it needs some kind of artwork or some kind of sculpture or something. Maybe we take all the filters off and see what I can find. All right. So, I kind of like these, like, three square paintings up here over the little potty and reading area. I think that's a really cute accent. And then maybe we can get, is there, like, a height chart thing that comes in like a yellow or something that would be fitting for this room. All right, I knew there was one somewhere that would fit this room. So this isn't exactly yellow. It does have like yellow tan colors in it. There's this one. Let's see, we have the hamster one, which is kind of cute. Um, we have the dog, and there's a dog right there. Yeah, we might go with the dog since there's just a, a dog stuffy right there anyways. Speaking of which, do we want to switch this where this is 
no, no, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> so we have the little doggy corner there. We have the paintings above there. I don't feel like this corner needs too much more. I just want to put something above this as well. I mean, we do have the cat mirror, but I feel like it doesn't go high enough. I, I want something that's going to go above the wood. Okay, I don't know why I feel like this fits this room so well, but what if we did this moon with the little yellow stars above it? Because, like, the sticker vibes kind of go with the dresser, and I think it looks like a really nice centerpiece. It's the right colors. I think that's really good. And now I want to see if there's any artwork that could really go in this room. I, again, I don't think the the bed nook needs any any wall art but maybe like something right here or right here or maybe both let's see what can we find that is fitting for a for a toddler's room that is fancy okay i know her brother's thing is more animals but i kind of love this collage for the toy wall i think that's super cute but i feel like I need a little something right here. I kind of am digging the collage vibe for this toy corner. I think that makes it really colorful and nice. And then really, honestly, like I'm trying to leave the walls on the bed fine. Maybe we could find something to put on this wall. That's too big. Let's see what else we got. Okay, we're going for fancy toddler room here. I'm putting this picture up because this is like the reading corner and this is kind of like a reading type poster. It's like a little chat bubble with words in it. I know that's not kiddish or toddler-ish at all, but I think it fits the fancy reading aim book vi nook vibes. And on that note, I think that's pretty much everything we need in these rooms. I honestly, I'm, I think these rooms turned out way different than I had planned, but I'm not mad at them. I actually really like them. I think we used a lot of good stuff from the kits. So let's go ahead and just give a quick tour and look at them at, in like game point view. Oh, that looks weird with all the different like colors <laughs> signifying which area is which. Okay. Okay. That's weird. But if we go in here, we come into Hunter's room. We have a little toddler potty in the corner. I don't know if that'll work, but we'll see once I load the game. We have her little dresser area. We have the bed nook with the fancy chandelier. We have the toy corner here with the big goth house, doll house, and we have a little reading nook so i think this room is really cute but honestly i thought this was gonna be my favorite room but honestly i think hayden's is my favorite room so if we come down here we have hayden's room and it has the yellow and brown animal farmhouse vibe so we have the little old bit or a dog toy and little get ready area we have his little bed nook and then we have the toy slash potty area and the reading nook with a little uh, height chart there. It's quite more simple than his sister's room, but honestly, I love it. I love it. I think these two rooms turned out fantastic. And on that note, I think I'm going to leave this one here, you guys. So, oh, like I said, I will be using this room the next episode of my Legacy Challenge that I post, which shouldn't be too much further. I know it's been a minute since I posted that episode, but I really want to do these nurseries before recording the next episode. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this one here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do that awesome stuff, because you guys are awesome people. I'll see you next time. All right, 